just one more project. Uh, today we are going to make a super simple frame with a backing and uh, we're going to layer a frame on top and score some lines to make it look like a real frame. Um, so we're going to start off in Adobe Illustrator. I've got my artboard open. At, the artboard is 19 inches by 11 inches. Um, I like to start with 19 inches by 11 inches because that's what fits in your glow forge. So that's where we're starting. So we're going to start by making this piece right here. So you're going to go over to your rectangle tool. I have my rounded selected, but we are going to uh, click on the little arrow underneath it. You can see that. And you're going to get an option of a whole bunch of different shapes. So we're going to go with rectangle and I'm going to draw my square. Now, I am not holding down the shift key, so it is super wonky. If I hold down the shift key, you're going to get a perfect square. So I'm going to do it around about there. Okay. I'm going to also change the color. Um, let's go with... That's a great color. All right. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and make the frame that goes on top of that. Um, so what you're going to do is you are going to duplicate that. The way you can duplicate it is go to edit, copy, and edit paste. You can also use shortcuts um, with your keyboard to do that. Okay, so now I've got this piece right here. I'm going to make another rectangle. And you're going to draw a rectangle over your second rectangle that you just made. And I'm going to eyeball it. I'm going to go with... And I forgot to hit my shift key, so check that out. Okay, shift key. I don't think I'm going to go about there. Now, I've eyeballed it. it I'm going to zoom in so you can see. I've eyeballed it to be centered, but it probably isn't. So we are going to select it all. Make sure you have your direct selection tool pilot, or clicked on, and then you're going to drag over it. And you're going to go to your align tool and you're going to horizontal align center and vertical align center. And that gives it, gives you, I'm going to change the color so you can see. Let's make it white or oops. And that gives you a second square right smack in the middle. Um, so what you're going to do is you are going to select it all and you want to erase what's inside that square or inside that square. So what you're going to do is selected. You're going to go to your pathfinder. And um, by the way, I have all of mine in my toolbar as shortcuts, but you can find them under window and you can find your pathfinder. Uh, you could do the same thing with your align window too. So I've got my pathfinder saved here because I use it all the time. Um, so again, highlight it, and then you're going to hit this little button right here called minus front. When I hit it, you can't really see that that's what it did, but it took away what was in the middle. So now you have this frame. So I'm going to change its color so you can see. Let's go with light blue. Okay, so let's zoom out again. Now you've got this perfect border right over it. It's not done yet. I mean, you could be done if you wanted to, but I want to make it look like a real frame. So now I'm going to add scored lines. Okay. The way to do that is you want to get your line tool, and that's over here. It's called your line segment tool. And you can see if you draw, you got all these funny, you know, you click on it and you get, you can go in all different directions. So let's just undo that because I don't want that. But if you hold down your shift key, and draw at an angle, it's going to give you 45 degree angles. I believe it's 45. Yeah, I think it's 45 degree angles that it that it keeps you at when you hold down the shift key. If you don't hold on the shift key, it's going to do this. See what it's doing? So let's undo that. So I want to hold down the shift key. I'm going to zoom in as close as I can to this corner. And I am going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to draw a line that goes from that point to that point. And if you look at that, what you can't see yet, but let's change its color to purple. If you look at that, that looks like the pieces of a frame put together. 
and you can make that by you can make it look like that by scoring lines. So now we want to go ahead and make this line on every single corner. So easiest way to do that, I'm going to duplicate them. And I just used my shortcuts on my keyboard. Okay, so easy peasy duplicated it for this one right here. But now we want to duplicate them again and we want to change the rotation. So I have them both selected. I did it. I hit my direct selection tool, held down shift and selected them both. I'm going to command copy or command C, command V and I have two more. But now I want to rotate them so they fit on these angles right here. So the way I do that is I'm going to object, transform, and I think I'm going to reflect them. I'm going to reflect them vertically. So this is what happens. So as I did that, I have it flipped the direction and I actually didn't click on both of them. So it's just moving one at a time. Oh no, it's not. Look at that. Okay, so I moved them. I'm going to zoom in and make sure. Okay, that looks about right to me. So now what you want to do is you want to hold down your shift key and you want to select your scored lines and group them together. So as you can tell, I'm clicking on the border. If you can't do this, like I can't do this, go over to your layers panel and just find your scored lines and select them. So I've got these right here and I am going to group them together. Um, you can also go to object group. Um, I just used my shortcut. So now once they're grouped together, this is what they look like. Now, when you put that into the Glowforge, it is going to read that as a scored line. So um, you're almost done. Now I'm going to stack them all on top of each other so that we can save this and have it laser ready. So when you put this into the Glowforge, it is going to want to engrave the whole dang thing and you don't want to do that. So you're going to go ahead and go to swap fill from stroke, um, swap fill and stroke, sorry. And that, you do that by clicking this little arrow in between them. And now you've got a line. Um, I'm going to put this on top of it. And again, I'm eyeballing this. Um, I'm going to do the same thing because the Glowforge is going to want to engrave this whole thing and that will take forever. So we're going to swap fill and stroke here also. And so now you have this piece stacked on top. And then you want to move your scored lines and put it right there. And that should be good to go. Now you want to do one final thing. I'm going to select all of it. And I'm going to go over to my align tool, horizontal align center and vertical align center. And now my eyeballing is, um, wasn't very good, obviously, because it shifted it a tiny bit. <laughs> so that is ready to go. So now you're going to save that as an SVG and then import it into uh, or upload it into your Glowforge software and it should be good to go.